pocket that feels good. That's it. That's it. For those who do know or do not know me, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a day of my life. This is me starting my second semester of freshman year of college. Before we get into it, be sure to follow me on social media for more behind the scenes. Subscribe and click on the notification bell so that we guys can get updates on when I'm uploading a new video. Now, I just got back on my pajamas. I took a shower. Now, I'm going to do my skincare today my first class which originally i'm supposed to have in person is online it's another communication disorders class syndrome conditions of communication disorders and i'm very excited about that class i looked at the syllabus a little bit last night this is so hard to get open yeah, I'm very excited to get back to my classes. I just miss my routine. I definitely had a good break. I feel like this break was definitely long enough. Well deserved. I was doing my finals. The first semester got really busy for me. So on Tuesdays, I have my communication disorders class. Then I also have my bio lab on that day too. I only have that on Tuesdays. But I don't have it this week. But I will start next week. Tomorrow on Wednesdays and Fridays, also Mondays, I have a first year writing class. Also have a introduction to statistics course. Along with that, I also have another biology course. And it's biology and society too. Oh, I also forgot I'm also taking a PE class that doesn't start until March. I'm glad that our classes are online today because it's literally cold here in Boone. I'm going to wait for this to dry, but I'll be right back once I'm doing the next step to my skincare routine. Never mind, I'm still on. I'm going to put on the One in a Million perfume by Bath & Body Works. This stuff smells so good. While that's drying, I'm going to unwrap my hair. Today, I'm going to wear it down to look presentable. What I'm going to do is that I'm really going to just brush it. Maybe put it to the side a little bit. Comment down below how you guys went to break his spin. I'm aware that some schools do their break a little bit shorter. I haven't finished the first semester. Just a little recap. I'm already done with my first semester. Now I am entering my second semester. I finished my first semester on December 13th with my last final for one of my classes, Psychology of Parenting. I know some schools do their midterms before they go on winter break, while other schools, they wait until people get back from winter break and do midterms. That used to happen to me whenever I was in high school. I would have a one week winter break. Then after that, I had to go back and do midterms, which I think is okay. I don't really like having to study anything over my Christmas break. I just really wanted to enjoy my holiday. I don't think anybody wants to do any schoolwork regardless of the holiday. But I like how in college, you get to finish the first semester before you go on winter break, which makes it like a true winter break. I did my hair. I really like how it's looking. Also, guys, look how foggy it is. Look at that. That is so foggy. And this was the amount of snow that we got yesterday. This is my view for my new dorm, which I haven't told you guys about yet. Yes, I am in a new room. I moved out of my old dorm, which was cone. That was just because I didn't get along with my roommates. Now I have my single room. Hello, what's popping? But I do have a sweet mate that I share a bathroom with. Yes, I love the single room life. I have have my bed behind me. Sorry that it's looking a little messy. We are all done with my moisturizer. Now I'm going to put on my SPF. Since it's cold out, I'm probably going to go on one errand today. That one errand is the post office. There's a post office on campus, but instead of it being on the side that I'm in now, which is the west side of campus, 
is it's all the way on the east side. What that means is that I have to walk my butt all the way to east side today to get packages. I want to do that after my class. This week, y'all, is literally made because one, I have only one class today. Not only for today, but for the rest of the week. So I'm very excited. But I feel like the first week might be a little rough just trying to get back into the routine of school So I'm done with pretty much my skincare I might put on a little bit of makeup, but I think it'll look fine for now Because I did bring some makeup with me whenever I was packing to move here Let me tell you guys about that So I moved to this dorm on Friday Because the returning students are allowed to come back on Friday Which was, I believe, Friday, January 12th I was getting like like all my stuff set up I had to get organized and I really like how my room is looking I'm very happy so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of mascara I'm gonna be doing it off camera so I will be back once I'm done with my lashes so my lashes off of camera I had to clean it up also I fixed me a bowl of fruit with pineapples and raspberries to eat during class grabbing my notebook that I wrote in sharpie overnight that dried I'm going to just get a pen and pencil enjoying the zoom meeting then we'll be ready to go i'm very excited and i cannot wait to get on back on the grind and start my second semester so i made it to my class see you after so i just got off my zoom meeting and luckily we didn't start anything we were just talking about the class overall i'm going to probably walk over to the post office let's do this i am all in my jacket my hat my scarf and gloves i'm going to throw this plate of fruit away i ate most of it actually also i was kind of surprised that class was quick because i was expecting it to be a little longer but i feel like it's the first day so i feel like it's normal you know Look how icy this is. This is ridiculous. I am back home and I already got my packages. For the rest of the day, I'm planning to look at some more syllabus for all of my classes and starting a few assignments. I have an assignment for my communication disorders class that's already going to be due in 48 hours. I'm going to start on that and I'm also going to start on an assignment for one of my biology classes and just chill after. I have to eat dinner and lunch and I'm going to unbox my packages. Hello? Hey, partner. Hi. What's going on? Nothing much. I'm just organizing my planner with all my class assignments. Very nice. So you were brave enough to go out today, huh? Yeah, I was. For a little bit of a while, I have been talking to my mom. And I've also been organizing all of the assignments. Has, so, like, I can keep up with it. I would highlight the assignment, write the class down. It's just such a nice way to organize. Also, if you guys would watch my How I Would Stay Organized plus how it will help me in my future video that I created my sophomore year of high school. Now, I'm going to be getting getting ready to eat lunch. Before I do so, I'm gonna be writing down a couple questions that I have, cause I do have my statistics class tomorrow. I also love this notebook because it's purple. And the folder. If you guys have watched episode one of my college diary episode, you guys would know that I was struggling to find a folder. I would just have something nice and easy to carry.
carry all my assignments in instead of just having to carry something bulky. Look how cute it is. This is the inside and it has two pockets. I already titled the first page of my notebook. Originally, I was going to title it my communication disorders class because I thought we were taking notes in that class, but we didn't. This is what it looks like. I have been listening to some music. This is currently my favorite song. This is Senorita, but it's more of a remix version of Justin Timberlake. Let's write down the questions. down two questions and I'm going to share them with you guys. The first question that I'm going to ask tomorrow is what is the best way to be successful in the class? The last question are the quizzes and tests open book, open note. Those are some of the questions I might come up with a couple more but now let's eat lunch. <laughs> disorders assignment and finish up organizing my planner because I don't have much homework so for my communication disorders assignment I'm going to do it on paper I actually have my notebook that I use last semester. I just found it for a minute. I thought that I didn't unpack it whenever I was trying to move in. This is my old notebook. It's all full of notes already from the past semester. I'm going to do my communication disorders in here. Since I have a few pages left, let's get to work. I'm going to answer two questions today and the other two tomorrow because they are due Thursday. <laughs> I am so sorry. I was just about to forget you guys, but right now I'm about to go out in this beautiful snow globe again to get me some dinner. I have a meeting for one of the clubs that I joined tonight, and I have another one tomorrow. The one that I'm joining tonight is Neurodivergent Student and Ally. It's gonna be online. So what I've been doing for the past couple hours since the last time I talked to you guys, I was doing my homework. I had to ask for some help eventually because I didn't know the answer to one of the questions. I feel really good about what I put down so far. Then I also took a break because your girl needs it. Breaks are definitely much needed in college. Been watching some YouTube. I watched one of my favorite YouTubers video and she hasn't been doing a video in such a long time. Her name is Gianna McLean. Also watched the majority of Nicole Leno's new video. I'm a little bit more close in the end. Then I went back to work. I finished reading one of the syllabus for one of my classes. Now we are all dressed. We're about to go. Let's go. <laughs> Just got off my meeting with my neurodivergent student and allies club. Today I had broccoli and mac and cheese. It was so good. Right now I'm just going to cross off my little notepad with all the things that I left off on that I needed to finish reading or looking at. If anybody remembered episode one. I'm going to finish up reading a couple of syllabus. After that, pretty much just going to chill. Tomorrow, I have my three classes. And I don't end my day until 2 tomorrow. I also might organize some more assignments in my planner for my other biology class, the lab one. And I'm also going to make a to-do list for tomorrow. Because one of my New Year's resolutions is to get back in the habit of creating my own schedule. I'm going to handwrite mine just because. 
because I just think it's easier. I'm going to be using a notebook that I actually got as a Valentine's Day gift last year. Also snacking on these Brax Hard Candies. These are so good. This is the notebook that I'm talking about. It is really pretty. I already have some stuff written in it relating to like school. Fun fact, I actually was writing down all the majors last year whenever it came to college decisions. There were like five majors that I had to choose from because all of them were in my area of interest. And I also have this notebook which I've been using for a while in high school. Towards the end of high school, now I stopped. This year, I'm going to try to be using it again because I do have some pages left. And here, I used to write down all my reading logs because in high school, I don't know if this goes for any of you guys that are still in high school or used to be in high school. Every summer, you would have to read a summer reading book depending on the class that you take. If you take like an honors or if you're taking AP, you have to read like three or four more books, I think. Another option is that you have a summer reading assignment. But I remember from my high school English class that I have to read one book, which I was very lucky. Also, this has one of the wildflower stickers. Look how cute that is. And it actually goes with the purple plaid wildflower case that I used for my iPhone 10. So far, I just wrote things that I need to like go back to campus. I also wrote down a couple video ideas. I actually used to write more schedules. 7.08, I would get up. 7.08, 9.16, work. 9.16, 10 a.m., break. I would do this a lot whenever I used to be doing online school. At the time, I was looking at different organization videos because I was struggling with organization and time management. I miss doing those. Comment down below if any of you guys are missing the COVID days. I usually like to do this because it helps me to stay structured and what I need to get done. One thing about me that I haven't really admitted yet on my channel is that I become very stressed out easily. I'm an overachiever. When I start working and when I'm focused, I'll stay working, 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 working. Then until later, I'm not realizing that I'm not getting enough breaks and it's like, hold on, I need to slow down. Eventually, I'll get stressed out. That's one of the cons. Now the pro side of it is, it does tell me to stay focused, to stay on top of my stuff. I thought I would just share that because I'm learning a lot of new things about myself throughout the year and I'm very excited about that. I still am. Whenever I watch other YouTubers talk about a certain topic or like talking about themselves that I could relate to myself to because I'm like, oh yeah, I am that person. Anyways, I'm going to get on with reading the rest of my syllabus, organizing, then chilling. It is 9.22. For the past couple minutes, I have still been organizing. I am making good progress on it. I want to go back to a couple more classes. It's a great way to start the semester. still have my math class to do. That's pretty much it. I am tired. Obviously, I have to do my night routine. Get myself organized for tomorrow. Guess what, guys? The exciting news is that tomorrow's classes are online. I am so happy. Really anxious to take this mascara off. After a while, I was just like, I want to rub this off so bad. I will see you guys once I do my night routine. By the way, I know that you guys see my eyes watering. I am not crying, just yawned. It is now 10.04. I'm going to do my night routine. This day was mostly productive. I was able to read most of my syllabus. I need to still read two more. I was able to get one thing done off of my to-do list. I'm just putting all my pens and stuff away, except for my notebook. Guys, look how heavy in length this journal is. This is a five-star, five-subject notebook. We also need to have a scientific calculator. You probably know that I use my TI-84 quite a lot. I've been using it for my high 
high school statistics class, algebra 2 class, and last semester since a lot of the graphs that we're going to be doing is going to be on paper anyway. I think I've had this sophomore year of high school. If I turn it on, it still works. Read in the front of both my folder and my notebook my name with my initial of my middle name because my middle name is Simone. Purple on purple. I'm gonna put this folder away because I'm not gonna be really needing it at all. I hope everyone had a great start to their second semester. This week though, it's gonna be good for me in a sense because in a way that I can get a head start on just working towards my new year's resolutions keeping them in mind throughout the semester this notebook which is going to have my schedule on it an eraser planner obviously pen pencil the next step is do my hair what's cool about my desk is that these liners you get to pull out and you push them in it gives me more room what i'm about to talk about on here is going to be a little bit off topic does anyone you know how you have something in mind in your brain that you want to say or you want to express but you just don't know how to verbalize it or put it into words you just don't know how to explain it to this person or to that person to make sure that what you're saying makes sense do you guys kind of get what I'm saying? Let me know if any of you guys are feeling the same way. Sometimes I feel like I'm so bad at explaining things, either when it comes to my emotions, whenever it comes to a person asking a question based off what I was thinking about, but I'll have the answer to already. It'll vanish. It'll take me a lot of time to rethink. If I don't know the answer to something, I would just blurt the answer out. My brain hasn't fully processed. Process. All this is to just say the way that I process things is completely different compared to my other peers. That's part of my autism. I be so hard on myself. I want to process things the same way my peers do. I just have to accept that's not always going to be the case. It's something that I'm still working on. Anyway, I'm just going to flip this calendar to the 17. How are we already in the middle of January already? If this year goes fast the same way that 2023 did, I'll be like, what is going on? I'll be back once I do my skin routine. Sorry that I didn't do my skincare on camera. I'm going to put all my little fuzzy socks. Since there's snow out today, I'm going to wear these blue hard socks. I am so ready to go to bed. I got on the same pajamas. This day has been a really good day. I love these erasing my bulletin board where i have first day i'm gonna put something new on there similar to what i have on my dry erase board outside peppermint one. I know that it's already past Christmas. The peppermint feels so good on my lips. Anyways, this is going to conclude today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media for more behind the scenes. Subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you guys can get updates on when I'm uploading a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Linsters.